who's excited? It's giveaway time. I did this last year and I'm really excited to do it again this year. It is a sun protection giveaway to my YouTube subscribers. I am so appreciative to you guys for all of your support, your comments, your enthusiasm for sun protection. This community means so much to me. You don't understand how incredibly gratifying it is to interact with you all every day. You're so positive, you're so motivating and uplifting. And I love that you all are so enthusiastic about sun protection and really want to do diligence to protect your skin from the damaging effects of ultraviolet radiation. So this giveaway is again, open to my YouTube subscribers only. So that's the only, um, you know, kind of rule, I guess. So you have to be subscribed and uh, is open in the US and internationally as well. So no restrictions with location. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment below what your favorite sunscreen is. I will pick the winners randomly and I will contact you in the comments to notify you that you have been chosen in one week. And you will then have to email a email your mailing address information. So if you're not comfortable giving away your mailing address, you know, that maybe don't enter, because uh, I will need that. But otherwise, you know, totally open US internationally. Uh, and all you have to do is be subscribed and all you have to do is comment what your favorite sunscreen is. And I know all of you guys have your own personal favorites and I love hearing about them. They always give me new ideas for things to try out. But anyways, what am I giving away in this giveaway? It is, by the way, I will be picking three winners. So um, what I'm gonna give away first is something that I wear frequently and really like. It is this little Nike hat, baseball hat, um, that you guys see me wear a fair amount about, you know, a fair amount out and about. And it's super comfortable and it's nice because it is white. So it doesn't, in the summertime, it doesn't heat up your head. I also have a black one, but that one can get even really hot here in Texas. So this one's nice. It has a nice brim to it that offers a good protection on the upper half of your face and the bridge of your nose. So it's a great adjuvant for sun protection. Again, can't just rely on sunscreen alone. You need the sun protective uh, clothing. But speaking of sun protective clothing, the other thing that I love wearing, wear it on the daily basis, even though I get strange looks for it, is my Coolie Bar face shield. Oh my gosh, this thing has been a game changer for sun protection. Uh, not only does this cover the lower half of your face very well, it's incredibly comfortable, very lightweight, and it doesn't suffocate you. I actually ran a half marathon with this on the entire time and had no issue breathing because it kind of stands out almost like a curtain from your nose to allow you to breathe underneath the curtain nicely and to exhale from underneath. And then it has another piece of fabric that nicely covers your chin, your mandible area, and also covers your um, neck as well as your, your posterior neck and upper back. So it comes down to about the collarbone. Really, really comprehensive coverage. Um, and the fabric is very comfortable to wear. People do always comment like, when I wear this, do I really get strange looks? Honestly, I get more strange comments than I do actual looks. And in fact, sometimes people in public have approached me and asked me where I got this because they too would like to, like to have something to protect their skin. Many people who suffer from photosensitive diseases like melasma or lupus or polymorphous light eruption. If you have polymorphous light eruption, summertime can be like, like a nightmare for you. And so this is something that can help you in your day-to-day -day commuting around town. Uh, and so, you know, you're not having to just heap on sunscreen and hope and, and cross your fingers that that is enough. You, you have an additional measure. So definitely love this. It's been a game changer for me. And probably the, I, I've tried and worn many face shields. This is the most comfortable one I've ever had and the one that I continue to wear. Washes up easily and fantastic. UPF 50 fabric like all Coolie Bar things are. Then, I won't take it out of the box, but I'm also giving away again this year a pair of my Ray-Ban sunglasses. I've had my Ray-Ban sunglasses for years now um, and I have the uh, Justin frames and they give very nice protection of the eyes and I have a whole video you guys on sun protection for the eyes, sun protective eyewear, why it's important. 
you got to protect your eyes. So definitely recommend sun protective eye eyewear. Um, and so these are these are a favorite of mine. So I'm giving one of the, those those away as well to each of the three winners. And then, all right, getting into the sunscreens, I will be giving away. Uh, you guys know I love the May Love um, Zinc Oxide Sunscreen. Honestly, this is one of my favorite cruelty-free mineral sunscreens. I reviewed all of May Love, and I, honestly, there really wasn't a whole lot else in the brand that I strongly recommended, except for this. It has a really respectable cast. It has a nice finish to it. And I think you guys will find it very comfortable. It's fragrance free. Um, I wish they would just make this and focus on maybe coming out with one that's got a tint to it because there is a little bit of a cast to this as is the case with all mineral sunscreens, but this is a favorite of mine. And a daily facial moisturizer that I think I've turned many of you guys on to and I really love is the Olay Complete Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sensitive Skin. It's a combination sunscreen. This is fantastic. One of my favorites for people with darker skin tones. No cast on this uh, whatsoever. And it's also great for people with sensitive skin, rosacea. It will not, it, it will not cause issue for people with oily prone, acne prone skin. It is oil free. And I think you'll really get along well with it. And it um, also has niacinamide, which is helpful for redness, is anti-inflammatory. And I definitely, uh, you know, I've reviewed several Olay products and this is probably their best sunscreen in my opinion. One of their best sunscreens. I haven't tried every single Olay one, but this is one of the best ones. And I definitely recommend it. Okay, and then the other um, SPF that I love that you guys see me wear every day is the Exuviance Sheer Daily Protector SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen with a nice tint that is uh, sheer and it, uh, so if you are a male who is kind of, you know, on the fence about using a tinted sunscreen because you don't want it to look as though you're wearing makeup, this does not do that. This is just, a, the, the tint in this really just kind of masks some of that white flash that you get from a mineral sunscreen. But they have formulated this really nicely. I mean, sometimes you get these tinted sunscreens and they say universal sheer tint. Uh, good for all skin tones and you put it on and it's kind of like an opaque tinty wash that if you do have a darker skin type you're like I can still see that that still looks weird this is one of the best ones in my opinion for really truly camouflaging the white the white uh, cast and you know also the nice thing about tinted sunscreens is that the tint is usually done with iron oxides Iron oxides are ingredients uh, in sunscreens that in addition to zinc and titanium dioxide can protect your skin from blue light. Visible light in the blue light wavelengths is something that in addition to UV can also impact our skin health, namely by contributing to persistence of hyperpigmentation and melasma. Uh, so protecting your skin from that can be achieved with zinc, titanium dioxide, and iron oxide. So whenever they talk about blue light technology and you know try and, and sell you on that the sunscreen is going to is going to protect you from your smartphone that's trying to attack your face, uh, do know that it's either zinc, titanium dioxide, and or iron oxide. So mineral tinted sunscreens are really, really the best protection against that. Uh, so definitely recommend that. And this is a favorite one of mine. It's uh, also got green tea extract in it, which is helpful for diminishing the appearance of pores and is anti-inflammatory and also good for redness. So this is a great one and I definitely recommend it. Okay, and then I also, getting into some Japanese sunscreen favorites of mine, I love the Aishin Mommy. This is a fantastic chemical sunscreen with tinnosorb in it, and it does not have any alcohol in it. I know alcohol in sunscreens frequently is bothersome to some of you. It can be, it can be drying and it can sting for people with rosacea. So this one does not have any alcohol in it. And it's one I always feel comfortable recommending to you guys because it does not, it doesn't have the potential, it has less potential to sting and burn and cause irritation. This, because it is a chemical sunscreen, has zero cast. And this, unlike the chemical sunscreens in the US, has filters that are not approved for use in sunscreen here. And uh, just, 
much better, much better in terms of the degree of protection against both UVB and UVA that uh, they afford. So definitely love my Japanese sunscreens. Uh, this one, the Ice and Mommy one is great as is the Knebo Media UV Cut Gel Base SPF 50. This is from Yes Style. It is a Japanese brand, Knebo. I love Knebo products, uh, Knebo sunscreens. They're really good. And I think in Japan, they're super affordable. Um, so yeah, this is a favorite. It has a nice kind of matte finish to it, which makes it a, a phenomenal base for makeup and application of makeup. Um, oh, then a, another sunscreen favorite, new to me this year and has rapidly become a favorite. I am on almost through my second bottle of it is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Anti-Aging. This is a combination sunscreen. It has a slight cast to it of a one. So if you're a darker skin type, you will notice a little bit of a white tint to it, that a white cast to it that you may not care for. You may, you may find that it's a little on the grayish side, but give it a try. It's very affordable. It has niacinamide in it, which is great for redness. This feels like a cool drink of water going on the face. It is one of my favorite everyday sunscreens, SPF 45. This outshines, in my opinion, it's dupe. It's a dupe for, but outshines the Elta MD UV Clear. Uh, this just feels nicer going on the skin. That being said, this product, uh, like Elta MD UV Clear, is fragrance free, but this has uh, an odor to it uh, that, you know, they're obviously not masking with fragrance or masking fragrance. The odor is a little bit like a pool float, but that does fade. So do you know that, but I love this. It feels so good going on. If you have a rosacea prone skin that tends to flare with heavy moisturizers, this is a good one to consider, and this is great if you have oily, oily skin. It is wonderful. It's not greasy, but it's also not super matte either. So be aware of that. It's a little more emollient. It just gives the skin a nice, healthy glow without being overboard on the dewiness um, and not being excessively shiny, but not also being super drying. So I love it. It's a great everyday high protection uh, moisturizer uh, that I love. Okay, so you'll be getting one of those. And then... Um, all right, so you know the issue with sunscreens in the US, like the chemical sunscreens, we don't, we have so many limitations on how we can formulate them because so many, we have so few filters to work with. So it really ties the hands of manufacturers. That's why a lot of our chemical sunscreens sting, they burn, they are greasy, they just, people don't like them because the, I mean, the manufacturers, they only have so many ingredients to work with. In everywhere else in the world, they have far more. And one location that has more ingredients is Korea. And a brand that I love, probably a favorite brand in general, is Crave Beauty. They are cruelty-free, vegan, they are a Korean brand. And I say Korean brand because it recently came to my attention that they don't consider themselves K-beauty because they're more focused on conscientious skincare that is minimal, I will say, or just focuses on bare necessities, which I totally agree with. So in other words, you won't find like 20 steps with Crave Beauty. All, they only focus on what exactly is going to be essential. And then their other products, they don't even sell as essential. They call them supplements and recognize that, you know, not all skincare is essential. I totally love that philosophy. So they don't really consider themselves K-beauty in the sense of like, you know, 10, 10 steps and all that. They, they want to be away from that, but they are a Korean brand. The products are made in Korea and the founder is a YouTuber who is, is really a pleasure to watch. So I totally recommend checking out her channel, Laya Yu. Um, and so yeah, love the sunscreen that she came out with in Korea. It's called Beat the Sun. And I reviewed it for you guys a while ago. But Laya cannot sell that as a sunscreen in the United States. Crave Beauty can't sell that as a sunscreen in the United States because the filters, which are great, fantastic, are not approved for use in sun as sunscreen ingredients in the United States, uh, just based on you know the FDA regulation, which is really sticky. So instead, what she has done is to um, sell this as a product that is, she calls it the beet, it's called the beet shield and it's you know sold as an antioxidant day fluid um, because it does have antioxidants in it. It's got, uh, I believe, green tea extract in it. Uh, and so it's, you know, she can sell it as that uh, because that's, that's like a cosmetic term that, you know, is not a drug. So the FDA could care less what she puts in it, which is kind of odd, right? I mean, like, if she were to call this a sunscreen, they'd flip out. 
uh, so you can't do that, but you can call it as vague esoteric thing like an, I mean, I'm not criticizing the name. I, I you know, you gotta get clever, but an antioxidant day fluid. Um, okay. That's code in this case for a sunscreen. And that is exactly what this is. I just can't make any claims that it, this product just can't make claims like that it's broad spectrum or that it will protect you from a burn. Those are statements that sunscreens, um, you know, have to make to prove their sunscreens and this can't make those because of the ingredients. But at the end of the day, this has superior filters and is really, I mean, an unsung hero in terms of skin protection in the US market. There really is not a product like this that I am aware of that uh, has those ingredients in it. So this is a little sneaky, sneaky slip in and I love it. Uh, so you beat it with those. Really nice finish to that, by the way. It uh, does have alcohol in it but it's not drying whatsoever. It's actually very moisturizing. And the alcohol is added to these sunscreens to stabilize those, those highly functional filters. So definitely love that one. Okay, SPF on the lips is imperative. The sunscreen that you put on your face and your body, it really just doesn't hold muster on your lips. It just doesn't hold up. And you know, so you need a dedicated lip SPF. And one that you guys know I'm a huge fan of is the Elta MD a UV Lip Balm. This is a combination sunscreen, zinc and optinoxate. It gives great water resistant, broad spectrum SPF 31 coverage, and uh, really nice and moisturizing and conditioning. No cast to this, uh, really feels wonderful. So you'd be getting one of those. And then also in the realm of lip SPFs, these came out this past uh, Christmas and I featured them in Vlogmas and they went over really well with you guys. They are the, it's the Sun Forgettable, uh, the Sun Protection Duo by Color Science. Uh, this contains, uh, this little package has the mineral powder that I love as a tool for hiding the greasy shine of a lot of sunscreens. Uh, the powders though, you guys, I've said this before, they're not enough by themselves because they just don't put a good even monolayer of sunscreen on your face. They're not enough by themselves uh, either as your first layer or as reapplication, but they are nice additions to go on top of sunscreens. Particularly if there's kind of a cast to it, kind of a grayish tinge that you're trying to hide and kind of mattify them with these, really nice option. But you're also dusting on iron oxides that can protect additionally against some of that blue light that drives hyperpigmentation. So you get that in this little duo and you also get their uh, lip shine, which I really love. It's SPF 30, it has a very nice uh, coloration to it. This color was actually a limited edition. It's like a cranberry color and uh, zinc oxide only, so only mineral sunscreens. Color Science really gets an A plus in my, my book for the aesthetics of their mineral sunscreens. They really do a good job of their tinted sunscreens. I mean, all their sunscreens are tinted and they're all mineral only. Uh, and I, I've loved the aesthetics of all of them. They offer, they really offer something unique. Speaking of unique and color science, I always get questions on this, like, can I recommend a dupe for it? And I really can't. It is a favorite of mine. And one, it's something I never would have thought I would use or, or like and continue to repurchase. It is their SPF 35 Total Eye 3 in 1 Renewal Therapy. This is a tinted sunscreen, uh, mineral only, that is SPF 35. And this uh, has a peach undertone that really camouflages blue or dark under eye circles really well. I have not found anything that achieves what this does. Uh, many of you like it. Some of you have mentioned that it, it um, creases up a little bit. I don't find that to be the case, um, I, but you know, some people do run into that. I've never had that issue. Uh, but I really love this and honestly, I don't have a dupe for it. It's not an essential. It's just something aesthetically that I like and I really like what it does as far as brightening up under the eyes. So, you know, don't feel like you have to buy this or you have to buy some dupe of it. Uh, but I like it and I want, you know, the winners to have one as well. So I really love this one. Hope you guys are as excited as I am about this giveaway. Again, all you have to do to enter is be subscribed and comment below what your favorite sunscreen is. Again, I am so appreciative to all of you for all of your support, your enthusiasm, and for watching my videos and interacting with them. It really means a lot to me, and I love this YouTube channel, and I am really excited to have the opportunity to give these away to you all. So, you know, comment below what your favorite sunscreen is. I hope you guys like this video, and if so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>